So we saw this uh, really short version of uh, the processing CSV file script, but actually this is still uh, a f long version. We have an even shorter solution, and that's what we are going to see. We have a one-liner solution, and this is the code, and the rest that we don't even see in the screen is the actual file name, or you can put the file names there. So what's this? This is a one-liner. Uh, one-liner that's usually it's really a throwaway uh, thing usually, but uh, let's go over what does it do. Not because we are going to learn deeply about one-liners in this course, maybe at the end, but uh, because uh, it's important just to have a have a look at it, so you will know what what the powers are there, and then in due time you can invest uh, some energy learning learning these things. So you can run Perl and then provide with mi minus e you can provide a piece of code right on the command line and this is working this this way it will work on unix if you put double quotes around i mean if you want to work the same thing you use the same thing on windows you will have to put the double quote here but besides of that uh, it should work on windows as well so this piece of this is the code and minus e tells uh, pro that instead of looking at a file where the code is, this is the code. So that so far is good. What are the other flags? Minus n tells Perl to take all the files and basically put a, a while loop uh, with uh, around this this code. So the minus n basically puts this while loop, this while loop around that code that was there. Okay, so this is the code, and uh, the minus n puts the while loop around that. Minus so mean meaning that it will go over all the lines on the command line, all the lines of all the files on the command line here, and execute this piece of code for every line. Minus a tells Perl to do auto split. Auto split means that every line is split automatically, and the result is put in the at f array. For some reason, it's called at f. I don't know what's the reasoning behind it, but just it's a name. Probably it was taken from oak. Anyway, it's um, at f, and but it by default uh, splits up where spaces are, and that's not good f for our case. We we want to split where commas are. So minus f, the capital F, allows us to put here the op the the string that we want to use for splitting. So we put here a comma, and that will m tell Perl to split up the, fi the the line every line where commas are. So now the results are of the split are in at f, and we want to fetch the second uh, the, the element number two, which is the third element, and add it to the dollar sum. We don't declare the dollar sum anywhere; we just add it. So that's what we want to do it for every line, and that's okay. But at the end of your order run, we would like to print out the sum, and for that we use an end block. So this end block is actually technically within the while loop, physically within the while loop. But because it's an end block, end blocks are only executed once when the script exits, or just before the script ex exits. So no matter where they are located physically. And that's what we are using here. So we put in an end block, and then this end block will be executed only once at the end of the whole run, and will print out the sum. So this one-liner can do the same as the, the previous code and uh, it can be useful and especially it's very useful to, to learn all the, the flags that one-liners can, that Perl can get and one-liners can be used for.